Hi, I'm Jay Nelson, and uh, I'm a co-owner of Strecker Nelson Art Gallery in Manhattan, Kansas. A good friend of Don Lambert, who is the curator of record for the Kansas Masters Invitational 2011. This uh, show came about because, uh, actually, because of Kim Casebeer and Callie Carlman. They had seen a governor's show in Colorado that they were very taken with because it showcased and brought awareness about the artists in the state and what great art the state had. They came to me with the idea that, uh, that they'd like to see such a thing happen here in Kansas and so I contacted Don Lambert. We involved uh, Governor Sebelius in the first one. This one now is a much more independent show that was actually co-curated by Don and I. Uh, Don has had the last word on everything, but the way we did this was we, each of us made a list of the artists that we think are the best artists in Kansas. We compared our lists and the ones that were duplicates were the people that we invited. This is the third annual, or the third biennial uh, Kansas Masters Invitational. It's, a, it's every other year. And so the next one will be in 2013. I'm sitting here by uh, a wonderful uh, hyper-realist painting by the Lawrence artist John Kuhn, and it gives me an opportunity to talk about what Don and I thought to be the criteria for a master artist in Kansas. First of all, this is by definition a Kansas show, so they had to be an artist living and practicing in Kansas. In past shows we had invited artists who did not live in Kansas, but who had gone to school here or were born here or something. But in order to cut the number down, uh, we came up with that as our first criteria. Uh, the second criteria was that they had to be a practicing artist. They had to still be making art actively. These couldn't be paintings and pieces of art from uh, 10 years ago. The third criteria was that they had to have been an artist who had shown in museum shows, had articles in the national magazines written about or by them. Don and I brought to that formula our own aesthetics, which are in some cases different. So there are objective criteria, and some of the criteria are, are purely subjective. Don, Don and I had to like your work. <laughs> I'm standing by a, a self-portrait by one of Kansas' great artistic masters, Roger Shimomura. This is called Eternal Foreigner. And it illustrates several reasons why I would call uh, how I define master. One of those criteria is that this is unmistakably a Roger Shimomura. You wouldn't mistake this for anyone else. So a master artist is one who has perfected all of the technical aspects of making art how to apply the paint, you know, all of the craftsmanship issues have been resolved. It's like a great musician uh, playing that instrument. They don't really think about where their fingers are on the fret or where their fingers are on the keyboard. All they're thinking about is transferring this idea, this concept that they have into this form of art. You know, if nothing else makes a master, certainly it is this originality of vision. Well, I hope all of you will come see the Kansas Masters show at least once. Uh, it really takes a couple of visits to absorb what's going on in the show, I think. What I would like you to take away is the knowledge that Kansas has artists that are the equal of any in our country and in the world. In fact, many of these artists that are in the show, such as Yoshiro Ikeda, for instance, or Roger Shimomura, uh, don't just show here, they show around the world. And I think it's important for Kansans to have a sense of, the, of their place in the world. And so I hope that's what you come away with.